Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of this feather font. I, while I was waiting for the other video to load, I started thinking about you need to play around with your thickness when you're going this far with a stroke. So these I've done at like a half of a point, and now I've changed it to one point, and I think it will work out a lot better for him. Of course, I still don't have any artistic ability. And I think it looks more like a feather. These are kind of, it, you know, it's the same uh, stroke, except for these are going to be wider. And let me just back up here. I don't like that G. But you'll really find out whether you have any artistic ability in your hand with your mouse. And... Um, I think the wider stroke, and maybe even in these short strokes, you could put it back down to 0.5 and just kind of make your own determination or 0.7. You know, make it a little bit wider. You could play with it after you get it done. But let's go back. Let's make it, let's just play around with 1.5 and see what happens. See if it looks more like a feather. It does look more like a feather, but I don't know that it really any better. But let's just go ahead and finish it and then kind of take the other ones away. And we can definitely compare the eyes because I did the eyes with the lower number. You see you're going that far and that does look pretty good. And I would actually go from the other way on their, your ease. But let's look at the difference. I'm trying not to look. But look at the difference between the first of the letters and the last of the letters. That looks pretty cool. Now let me take away the yellow letters. That looks really cool. That might work. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.